Welcome back to another episode of Seven Minutes in Heaven. But instead of making out with me, we'll just talk about photography the entire time. I don't know. Sounds kind of nice, right? So, what do you want to talk about today? I was thinking we would talk about Super 8 film developing. Wait. I forgot to order the chemicals. I forgot to order the chemicals. Oh my God, I forgot to order the chemicals. <sighs> really? Really, Caleb? Really? <clears throat> I got stopped that ass. I even got photo flow. <sighs> How can I have done this? This is ridiculous. Guys, I'm not like this. You know that about me. I'm, I'm usually on top of my shit. God, no way. Dude, I don't have any developer. <clears throat> it's cool, bro. Have a beer. Oh my god, you're a genius! Beer! <sighs> hey, guess what? We're developing in beer! Who would have known? Probably you by the title of this episode. Uh, wow, did I take crack this morning? Well, because I forgot about the developer, we're now developing in beer. So, I went out and got myself some Super 8 Ghosts. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. Apparently, you can develop black and white film in beer. Who would have known? The internet, and probably you, Greg. You know a lot of stuff. That's why I call you all the time. How you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to develop in beer. Spoiler alert, it's a pain in the ass. This is the Bolex 160 macro zoom. So the camera was actually my film professor's uh, and he gave it to me when he knew I started to like film. So he was like, I'm not using this anymore. Here you go, have fun. Oh my God, thank you. So I've been shooting this for, for a few years now, um, not consistently, but you know, anytime I've felt like spending a ton of money. To be honest, Super 8's a little expensive. If it wasn't, I would be shooting this all the time. It's a fun thing to take around sometimes and, and use. So I really enjoy Super 8. Uh, I really enjoy 16. Um, spoiler alert, I like shooting film. Who would have known? I thought it would be a really interesting experiment to develop a beer. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I went out and picked myself up some 7266, or what the layman people call it, Tri-X. Tri-X and black and white film can be developed in beer, most likely because of the high acidity content in some of the beers, like this dogfish head. <sighs> so I'm gonna take you through the steps on how to develop with beer. Now, you don't have to pick yourself up some dogfish head super eight. No, you can develop in other beers like uh, Guinness. So I don't know, look at the internet and pick up a few other beers and just get wasted while you're doing this. Cause honestly, it's, it's a time suck. So you want something to go through your brain. So put a few of these back and then just start the process. So this is my first time developing Super 8 at home. Usually I take it to um, Pro 8, which is basically the only game in town and they do the developing and the scanning for me. But you know, I gotta get weird with my first time developing. So obviously it has to be in beer. So let's get to it. So other than beer, you'll need a few other things. Vitamin C powder and baking soda. Some people say washing soda is better. I didn't try it that way, so I don't know. You'll also wanna get some buckets so that you can just hand agitate everything. It's gonna get messy, so the bigger the bucket, the better. But you don't want a shallow bucket because then you won't get an even distribution of beer and chemicals on the film at the same time, and that's important. Don't forget to get yourself some latex gloves so your chemicals and your beer doesn't get all up inside you. The first thing you gotta do is heat up some beer. So get yourself two to three cans, I would say three, and some sort of container so you can heat it up. The beer wants to be at 90 degrees. You'll also wanna measure yourself out a half ounce of vitamin C powder or cocaine, whichever one. Then measure yourself out one and three fourths ounce of washing soda or baking soda. Put those aside, let that beer heat up, and then you add those things into your beer. The reason for this is to add a little bit more acidity so that the beer can actually do its thing. Warning, once you add these two powders together, it will explode like a volcano. So you gotta watch it, okay? Cause 
exploded like a volcano. While the beer is heating up, prep your stop bath and your fixing bath. I used one liter of both stopper and fixer just to make sure that the Super 8 film was being completely submerged. So after your beer is heated up and the rest of the chemicals are prepped, this is when you start to get to know yourself a little bit better in the dark. So go into your bathroom or your dark room if you're so lucky. Sarah, share your dark room with people. Leg tags, gloves up. Just stick something on the door frame, tape up the door frame so no light gets in. And then turn the lights off, get funky with yourself. Okay, you gotta take the film out of the canister here. Be very, very careful with this film. Film is fragile, hashtag film fragile. You want to pull it out in the dark. Don't snap it, cause it snaps easy, right? So pull it out, pull it out, pull it out and put it in your beer bath. Set a timer for 15 minutes and then just go to town on it. Because for 15 minutes, you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be hand agitating it. Have you ever been in the dark for 15 minutes? Other than sleeping, obviously, but you know, you have a nightlight usually. I mean, I do, right? You do too? Don't you? You don't? Is that just me? Pro tip, have someone outside your bathroom or in there with you because let me tell you what, Siri, she doesn't listen. You can say, hey Siri, set a timer for... For how long? You can say, hey, set a timer for 15 minutes and then she does, but then guess what? Guess what happens? Hey, there's the light of your phone, so put it put it away but guess what happens she'll just ding for you forever and you can't tell her to shut up she won't stop she'll just keep going so that's a that's kind of a pain anyway so pro tip just have someone there to to you so you can say hey hey jessica please 15 minutes and then she's like okay cool you do this for 15 minutes and then it's time for the stop bath so you take all of the film and put it in your next bath to stop it from developing in beer and then just stop your film for 30 seconds after that 30 seconds is up, guess what you gotta do? You gotta fix it. So take that wad of film and put it in your next bath. And then that is hand agitated for three to four minutes. I think I went to four minutes because party on, right? So after you're done fixing the film, you get to turn the lights on and see what your hard earned agitation did for you. Oof. Give me a second, I'll be back. A lot of leader on this. Oh, look at that. You get to see images. So then wash your film for about, you know, five minutes or whatever, and, and then and then you can hang it up to dry. Hang it from your shower curtain or something like that, but you're done. And look what you did. You developed Super 8 film. How badass is that? You should give yourself A, a pat on the back, and B, you deserve one of those beers. So cheers. Mmm. Plus, you're probably already drunk by then. Obviously, when it's drying, you just take the rest of the beer that you developed in and just... Don't, that would be bad. So as my film was drying, I noticed something. I didn't develop all 50 feet of that roll. And then I found out, yeah, it snapped. There was still an undetermined amount of film inside the cartridge. So I decided to take it to Pro 8, ask them to develop the rest of the roll, and then scan all the film. Thus leading us to a perfect example of what film developed at a lab and film developed in beer will look like. Happy little accidents. That was my nickname when I was younger. When I got my film back, I was pretty much amazed. It's really interesting the difference between the proper developer and the beer developer. It kind of seemed like the film developed in beer actually had a little bit more latitude than the film that was developed by proper chemicals. With a little color correction, you can beef up those shadows and the highlights and you get a really pleasing image. Now, yes, as you can see, the difference is one has a crazy amount of scratches. The film developed in beer looks like it went through World War II and back. There's scratches 
all over, completely desecrating the image. Kind of in a cool way. So obviously you're touching the film, which you never want to do when you're developing. So that's where all those scratches are coming from. So there's a few tips that I suggest if you want to develop in beer. If you don't have the developing equipment, you can use large buckets. That works. But in the long run, and I don't know why I didn't think about this, I could have just used my Patterson tank put it all in there, and then I didn't have to be in the dark. I could have just agitated it like this, which might reduce the amount of scratches there are on the film. But hey, I learned a lot in that bathroom. Like I said before, having someone tell you the time or having a good timing system is also really handy. And then the last one is using more beer just to make sure you get enough coverage on your film to develop it all. <laughs> Overall, this was a really cool experiment, and I think it has a time and place of use. Depending on the era of a story you create, you could use this type of method to really give an authentic look to a retro film. Or you just like to experiment and have fun. Would I do it again? Yeah, for sure. Also, it'd be kind of cool to do it with just 35 millimeter stills. So let me know, are you gonna try it? Do you wanna try it? Or do you just wanna drink a bunch of beer? Whether you buy this beer for developing or drinking, can turn out pretty good in the end. You're gonna be drunk or you're gonna have some cool ass film. Either one is a win in my book. Well, I got some ectochrome to go shoot, so I'll see you next time. Maybe next time, ectochrome is gonna be on the on the list. Or Vision 3 50D. This is from Pro 8mm. Their packages are actually really handy because if you buy one package together, you can, you know, get the film process scan. You know what? I wanna shoot so much more Super 8 and I have been wanting to. It's just so expensive, which makes me upset. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make myself a scanner. I said it here first. I don't know if I have the technical skills to do that, but hey, that's what Skillshare is for. Which brings me to, just kidding, I'm not sponsored. Okay, bye.